Hello everyone, this is Mark Spurlock, Twin Lakes Church Executive Pastor, back here at Camp Hammer because I wanted to give you an update on the latest progress. The last time I told you we had applied for state and federal assistance with the cleanup effort, we were denied that and so we have hired a private demolition contractor to come in and do the necessary cleanup, scrape up all of the building debris. So they will recycle as much of that as they can and then test the soil to make sure that everything is clean. Once that's been certified, we can move on to the next step, which will be removal of 117 hazardous trees. Once those are all removed, we will get this place ready for winter and we will continue to ask God to lead us about next steps going forward. It's encouraging though to see, uh, every time we come up here, we see more green. These redwood trees are living up to their reputation as they start to rebound uh, in ways that are really truly remarkable. Once again, we thank you for your prayers, your encouragement, and we will keep you posted as things continue to develop. Hello, this is Mark Spurlock, one of the pastors at Twin Lakes Church, joined by fellow pastor Dan Baker. And I've asked Dan to be in this video with me because Dan was the very first program director of Camp Hammer, right here, living legend. In fact, he has, he's wearing an old Bloom's Flume t-shirt, which Bloom's Flume, I went on as a teenager and then it was removed. That's a different story. <laughs> but, uh, and the, the artist here, a guy named Corbett Hillam, he did artwork for Christian Ministries, even spoke here and would draw a picture while he spoke to the kids. Great guy. But Dan, how did you start your very first job here at, at Camp Hammer? When was that? Well, I had just graduated from high school and uh, Jim Kraft, who was the youth pastor at Twin Lakes Church, uh, said, hey, you want to come up and be a counselor at Camp Hammer for a week? So that was the beginning. And Little I, did you know. They asked me to stay another week. Okay. And then I came back yet another week that summer. So uh, that was my first summer, summer 71. Wow. And so that would have predated D.K. Hall. Oh, for yeah. those of you who know D.K. Hall. Yeah, where D.K. Yeah. Hall was, there were three, a three-wide trailer. That was the, the dining hall. Yes. But there was no dining hall either, except for that trailer. Right. Francis Hammer put that those trailers there. And then it got moved down to... Uh, kind of just up from the pool became staff right. residence. Well, my wife and I were the first ones to live in that when it got moved. Really? With our two kids, Jenny and David, who were just babies. Oh my goodness. Here I am trying to tell you stories that you already know. <laughs> you lived them. <laughs> I only heard them. And uh, over the course of time, a lot of different staff people lived in that trailer. Oh, yeah. uh, of course, it was, it was lost in the fire like a lot of other buildings. But So you, you, you were here for three, four weeks in 1971? Yeah, and then six weeks the following summer, okay. and then the whole summers for 12 summers. Yeah. And then I remember coming up here as a high schooler for a weekend retreat, and that's when you were the program director. Mm-hmm, right. Yeah. Those are some and, good times. Uh, yeah, we were trying to figure out how to keep ministry going throughout the year, you know, yeah. instead of just during the summers. And so we would have retreats like that. Do you remember the song that you taught us that? back then? Uh, probably. It's called Camp. <laughs> camp. It goes like this. Camp. 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 Let's sing it, Mark. Camp. <laughs> camp. Then it goes. Here's Dan. Camp is fun. Our team won. I still remember that. I was great. 16. I don't know what the other Camp has go. a dramatic effect on you. It does. It does. It teaches them songs that will be close to their heart for many years to come. Yeah. Like that. That one is particularly <laughs> profound. I'm glad that it's lodged itself in my memory. But you're right because, I mean, you look at our pastoral staff, myself, Dan, my brother Paul, mm -hmm. Steve Craig, Valerie, Valerie Webb. Webb. Yeah. Did I miss anyone? Uh, Local pastors, you know, Josh Fox, sure. uh, others who were on staff here at Camp Hammer, it was the launch pad for so Absolutely. many of us. And the launch pad for your family because not only did you move your, your family here, but prior to that you met your wife here. Yes, we, had, we had to start, well, up there in uh, the dining hall. She was sitting on the fireplace hearth with her then boyfriend, 
Uh oh. And I walked in wearing my overalls, my camp hammer overalls, and uh, carrying a guitar. And that's where we first met. And she was just starry eyed. That guy yeah, had no chance. She, she kicked him out right away. <laughs> well, you know, he had a guitar. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, and then we also, uh, we were just moments before this, peering into this particular uh, rec shack because it's got, it even has some stuff that, that I bought. I don't think there's anything left that you bought here. I don't think so. That was, but uh, it's just, uh, it looks like camp. It smells like camp. It's just got things that made things fun for kids that went to camp. And it survived the fire. It's amazing. It's all intact. It is. And, and again, I, every time I go into these, these spaces, I'm mindful of the care that the existing camp staff uh, demonstrated in just little details, being faithful in things that no one would otherwise see, just how carefully and lovingly they, they just put things away for the course of a, you know what they thought would just be a, a summer. Sure. And not knowing that this would be one of the few things uh, left behind, but it tells a story and it tells a story of the love and care that our staff had. And so please continue to pray for them as they continue to adjust to what we're all adjusting to, uh, a different era for camp. And what the Lord has in store, we don't know, but we continue to seek his will. Absolutely. I think God has great things in store yeah. for all of us, whether at Camp Hammer or in our lives individually. God is doing a new thing in all of our lives. Yeah.